हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट ई आर पी ब्रिजर सो फर्स्ट लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वट इज ई आर पी ब्रिजर ई आर पी ब्रिजर इज अ टूल विच इज डेवलप्ड बाय मार्क दिस टूल कैन बी यूज फॉर इम्पोर्ट एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ डेटा इफ अदर सॉफ्टवेयर हैज डेटा एक्सपोर्ट प्रोविजन देन यू कैन इम्पोर्ट दैट डेटा इन टू मार्क एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट डेटा फ्रॉम मार्क सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट you can import it in another software you can export or import data from mark software in four formats xls csv dbf and xml now after this let's understand where can we use erp bridger with this bridge or tool you can export or import data from any other software it's so easy no need of programming knowledge This tool is very essential and helpful for all those who require to transfer their data either from mark or into mark for accounting inventory purpose etc we have also developed tool through which you can import voucher like receipt payment general etc through excel file into mark with this tool now anyone using different types of multiple softwares they can see the consolidated outstanding of a particular customer for example if a fmcg distributor has agency of say parle cadbury hindustan lever and dabur india and he sell all the products of these companies to say pyarelal and sons now he wants to see his total outstanding of pyarelal then he has to browse through all the softwares for the same but now with the help of this tool he can transfer all the sales vouchers into mark and see the outstanding of pyarelal in one go so now let's see how can we implement this in mark software click on masters mark setups and then control room and now from here you have to turn on erp option set this option to yes and save changes to yes now again go to masters mark setups then paid features and all of these features are chargeable so first we understand how can we export data through erp bridger so for this you will select erp bridger export and now you can see here you have four options method import method export method and delete method and now first of all we want to import in erp from mark so for this we have to create a method means in which software you want to import data so according to that software you can export data next is import method option means if you have an existing method so you can use this option similarly you can export method and if you want so you can delete existing method also so to create a method click on method then in the name field you will give the name to your method for example we enter erp2 as you specify method name it opens mark alert want to create means do you want to create a method if yes click on yes button otherwise click on no button so we will click on yes button next field is for means for what you want to create method if you want you can specify name here then next is data from line that means from which line you want to start your data so you will leave this on one after this here you can set separator next is date format means in which format you want to export date then next is export in format means in which format you want to export if you press space bar it opens drop down menu and here you will get four options xls dbf csv and xml then next is heading heading means the data you are exporting where you want to give heading or note like bill number party name date if you want these types of heading so you will set yes here otherwise you can set no here 
After this, next option is data transfer in. If you press space bar, then here you will get two options, my file and create. My file. If other software provides you a DBF file or you have any template, then you paste that file in marks system folder and here you can define your file name and it will automatically import or export data according to template. And this option is very useful if other software has a limitation. It can import or export data only in defined database. And next is create. If you select create, so you have to create a new method. So we will select from here create. Now next option is item details. If you press enter, then it opens all voucher types. And from here you can select that vouchers which you want to export. Similarly, if you see at the bottom of the window, then here you will get some more options like check all, check sales, check purchase and uncheck all. For example, if you want to export all vouchers, you can click on check all button. If you want to export only sales related voucher, you can click on check sales button. And if you want to export only purchase related vouchers, so you can click on check purchase button. And after this, if you want to deselect vouchers, so you can click on uncheck all button. After this, here you can see main type value. As you know, every software has own database. For example, in other software, sale means S, purchase means P, or sales order means SO. So select the voucher type by clicking on this checkbox. And then you can type here manually like S for sale. Similarly, if you want, so you can change manually P for purchase. Means you can change this manually according to other software database and can export your data. Now click on OK button. Now you can see it opens export method window and the first field is mark field. As you press enter key, then here you can define your fields means you can select variable which you want to export. For example, we want to export bill number. So we will search bill number. Next is serial number means in which serial number you want to print this. Then next is field name. If you desire, you can change your field name manually. Next is type means is this character or numeric? Then you can decide length. Press enter. Now after this, we want to export build date. So we search build date. Then you can define serial number. Here you can change field name, then date. So in this way, you can see we have created method, press escape key and save changes. Now again, you will go to masters, then select change operator powers. And now here you can select that user which you want to give authority of ERP bridger. Here you will search ERP. Then set this option to yes. And then login again. And now if you open transactions menu, then here you can see you will get an option ERP bridger. And from ERP bridger option, you will select export. Then here you can select from date and to date. Here you can select in which format you want to export. Then here you will define path where you want to export or save your path. And as you can see here, it is saving your file in D drive named as ERP Mediator. Click OK button. Now your file has been exported. And now if you open D drive, then you can see it has created your file with name ERP Mediator. Now you can see the field you define in method 
all that fields are available here like bill number, bill date, party, name, quantity and period. So in this way you can very easily export data like inventory or accounts related data from Mark software. Now after this let's see how can we import from ERP Bridger. First go to masters, mark setups, paid features then here you can see you have available two options ERP mediator import inventory and ERP mediator import accounts. If you are importing inventory related vouchers so you will create method in import inventory otherwise we create method in import accounts. For example we select inventory as you select this brings up ERP to mark inventory window. As you can see first option is method means if you want to create new method or format so you can select method option. Next is import method means from here you can import an existing method. After this next is export method. Then next is delete method. By this option you can delete an existing method. The next option is convert import XLS. By this option you can convert text file into XLS file. And the last option is row to column XLS. That means by this option you can convert row data into column. Now let's we learn to create method where we can define method. As you select method it opens a window and here the first field is name. Here you will define method name. For example we enter new. As you create method it opens mark alert. Want to create? If you want to create so you will click on yes button. Next field is for. That means for whom you creating method. If you desire you can give method name. For example we enter voucher. Next is data from line means from which line your data is starting. As you see this is our excel sheet which we will export and in which you can see your data is starting from first row. So we will set here 1. Next is separator. If you have CSV file then you can define separator here. Then next is date format. You can see here you have three types of date format and you can select date format as per your need. After this next option is data start after. This option is useful when your data starts from middle not from beginning. You can define in middle from where your data is starting and where it is ending. Next is data format. Here you can select your data is column wise or row wise. Next option is import in type. As you press space bar you will get three options. Ask, main flag and main type. If you select ask option so you can import same type of vouchers at same time. And if you select main flag so you can import multiple types of vouchers at same time. But for this you will have to define flag in sheet. Before this we understand what is flag. For example if we keep import in type option flag and press enter. Then a window opens where all voucher types are available. For example if we import sale and in your sheet sale is displayed as S. If in your sheet sale is defined as S then you can manually change it. So your software can easily identify according to your flag. If your voucher is for sale, purchase, purchase price difference order as per that your flag identifies vouchers and sheet. Similarly third option is main type. Main type is also import multiple vouchers at same time and if you set it main type so you have to define voucher type in sheet. As you select main type and press enter the window opens. For example 
in your sheet for sale it should be defined as you can see in another sheet type is defined so here also sale should be defined if in your sheet instead of sale it is sales so in the window as well you need to change it to sales click ok and now here you will create a method as you will press enter then you can see it opens format variables window now you see in this excel sheet first you have bill number so here we search bill number press enter then here you will specify that in your excel sheet bill number is in which column similarly next is party name then item code now as you can see we have selected variables up to rate now after this next is type if you press enter here and then search bill type you will see you have available two options bill type flag and bill type name if you define flag in your excel sheet so from here you will select flag variable but if you define voucher full name so here you will select bill type name so as you can see here we have defined full name of vouchers so we select bill type name and now simply we save method and to import go to transactions ERP mediator and select import inventory now first we select sheet then select your method like new after this you will select where you want to save this bill in bill or chalan for example we select bill then in import path it shows the path from where you select your sheet next is import from means the bill you are importing is wholesale or retail one thing you will see here as we press enter then it will directly switches your cursor on hold purchase it skips the option holding type because we already mentioned in method its main type but if we were selected ask in place of main type then our cursor switches to import in type now next option is hold purchase if you want to hold purchase so you can set yes otherwise you can set no for now we set it to no next is entry date here you can define entry date next is item search base means in which basis you want to search your items name code or barcode for example we select code next is show unmatched means you want to search only unmatched or all and to confirm this you will type receive and then press enter and now from here you can map your items and save it now you can see your sale and purchase bill has been imported you can see here so friends in this tutorial you have seen how can you import and export multiple vouchers through erp bridger thank you